Hi, this is Sandy, and today I want to show you how to how easy it is to bring in this new complete file that we are offering with all the SVG files in one. Now, previously we had offered the SVG files um, with our designs as multiple files, so I'll show you one. So here is uh, the honey jar. Now, just be aware that this change only occurred recently, so. It is as of the May releases, which were the B releases. Uh, going forward, we will add this to our files, um, but we may take some time to go backwards and do some of the other ones, but at this time, um, you'll have to import those individually until they're available. So um, anyhow, uh, when you get a file from us and you unzip the zip file you get, Usually this is similar to what you see, which is a PDF file, which is a reference file, and then an image file to show you what the preview of the finished project should be. And then usually the SVG files are within the SVG, SVG files folder. So in here, when you open it up, you see here are all the, the files right here. And those are the files with dashed lines, um, dash, dash score lines, which is typically what some Silhouette users use. Now there is an option to use what we call our solid score lines, but you would have to watch our video on how to utilize that because by default, the solid score lines are for machines that have score tools like Cricut or a uh, scoring tool functionality um, like, a, like a Sizzix Eclipse has an ability to do a kiss cut. Well, you also could utilize the solid score lines, but there's just a technique where you could can use um, multiple settings using your blades to do that as well. And I use a ratchet blade. Anyways, there's another video. I will reference it below in the comments. But for now, we'll fo focus on the files with the dash line. So typically, I would have you pull these in individually like that. Okay, but we're not going to do that this time I'm going to show you how to use the complete file. So let's just skip to it. There, If it has a complete file, you'll have a folder that says complete file. And it might be uppercase in the future. And the one that doesn't have solid lines on it, the name, is the one with the dash lines. So there's dash sol score lines and solid score lines. So if you know how to utilize solid score lines in Silhouette Studio, with your machine, then you can pull that one in. But for now, we'll pull in the one without that on there. So we're just going to drag it in. And you see it just drags everything in. I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. Then I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. So now you can see all the files. But it's all one, so the only thing you really need to do is to right click and ungroup and then you can move them individually so you can cut them individually so you can see that and if you have to further regroup because you want to put colors together um, like many people uh, have to do that you can just ungroup here and then we have them further grouped down here so you can move those around and then you can just go ahead and cut as you normally would the nice thing is, I don't know if you know, I'm using uh, 4.2.471, which is one of the newer versions of Silhouette Studio. And this is Designer Edition and above that this will work in. But when you click on Send Now, it automatically defaults to the cut lines where before you had to select them all. So just be aware that it does that now. Um, and one other option of how you could pull the file in, I don't save files up to the Silhouette library. I prefer to save them on my hard drive, um, but for some people, they like to. So if you wanted to do that, there's this nice handy dandy thing in the lower left here. You hit that little arrow, and um, it'll show you your, li your library. So you can see designs, and I have them all subcategorized, and I have it under user designs, my own. So for that, if you wanted to pull the complete file in there, you could just go like this, drag it in there. 
and then use it how you normally would, would if you like to pull them into your library. Again, I usually just pull them into a project and then I save the file. So for this, to close that up, you hit that little arrow again here. You can see where my cursor is. And then it closes it up. But that's in your library and it'll sync to your library. So that's it. You just go ahead and um, send each of the files over to your cutter as you normally would, your silhouette. Mine's unavailable, I don't have it on. And then you're, you're, all, you're all set. It's all in one import and it's much easier and I hope at one point to go back and do some of the older ones. But to me, it's still easy enough to pull all of them in individually as well. But I just wanted to make it just a smidgen easier. I hope you find this useful and thank you for watching.